number of uh, research papers are going to use grade relation analysis for many kind of machining process optimization, multi-track laser clanding utilization, friction steel welding process parameters optimization, cryogenic machining process parameters optimization, silica flashed polyester composites optimization, multi-objective optimization of woven fabric parameters, multi-response optimization of resin finishing, pyrolysis process parameters maximization of maximum yield. There are three steps in grid relation analysis. So the first one is the normalized link the given data or pre-processing. It can be used by using two formulas. And the second one is a grid relation coefficient. And here we have to calculate the deviation sequence also. And here there will be some value taken as considered as 0.5 standard value. And the third step is calculation of the grid relation grade. Here some of the most of the research papers they will consider the weight as equal to 1. Now we will try to solve a sample problem which will be considered for calculation in Microsoft Excel software and this problem has been published in a SEI and Scoopers in terms general and this was the reference which I have considered. I have taken the output uh, parameters in this Excel file like five output parameters material removal rate, surface roughness, temperature, feed force, radial force, tangential force etc. Uh, here I am considering the minimum and maximum values in a separate cell. Uh, why? Because uh, in my normalized uh, prob uh, step, uh, I am having minimization and maximization values. So here I am by using the formula minimize M I N and I am going to select the entire uh, column. Similarly for maximize also maximize of that entire uh, column I am going to be selected like this. Then I am pressing the close arrow then enter now just to simply dragging that one through the entire row so that it will fetch the minimum values for the six output parameters uh, similarly for maximization also i am trying to uh, drag it so that i will get the maximum values and the next step here i am going to be start with the first step that is called as normalization uh, here normalized or data pre-processing here I am trying to do, um, take the same uh, output parameters every time so that I am copying the first uh, part. Now by using the formula uh, for material removal it, should, it will be higher the better. So I am taking the equation one. So the first value minus minimum of that particular value divided by maximum minus minimum. So maximum value minus minimum value. And I am going to close the bracket then press the enter button. This is for material removal rate where I am going to be considered higher the better. Now here I am particularly using the dollar symbol because this minimum and maximum values are fixed to the entire uh, uh, column. So I am trying to fix uh, these things uh, with the help of a dollar symbol like this. Then I am going to drag that one up to 27 uh, rows so that I will get the 27 values. I will easily get the computations. Next for the surface roughness. Again, the formula is going to be changed for the surface roughness. It is going to execute with the lower the better. Uh, so the second equation is going to be done for surface roughness, temperature, feed force, all these remaining five output parameters. We are going to be considered lower the better only. So the formula will be same for all the remaining five cases. Now here I am trying to use max minus xik divided by max minus minimum so that I will get a formula like this. Now I am again adding a dollar symbol in such a case that that particular row and column is going to be fixed for the particular cell and whenever I am dragging that cell will be constant for the all cells where I am going to drag the formula. That is the basic excel trick which we need to be apply for a easy computation. Next to similarly, I am doing it for temperature, just to dragging it and, and then after dragging the, those things, 
i will just double click it so that i can able to edit the temperature value and here the maximum and minimum values are for surface hardness so i am dragging it to temperature uh, cell and then just pressing the enter button okay similarly i am dragging it to side wise also for feed force again double click it again going to minimization and maximization then shifting these values from temperature to feed force because uh, earlier it was temperature no the same values will be dragged out there so i am just changing the array so similarly do it for radial force and tangential force tangential force now we have got the entire values just to select the all rows and drag it up to the column wise so that you will get all computations for 27 values now just i am making a box so that it will look good now this is a normalized table normalized values which i have got so here i am going to estimate the minimum value and maximum value as i have done it the similar kind in the previous step also Uh, because in the second equation also again we are having minimum and maximum by seeing the values i can able to justify that the maximum value will be 1 and minimum value will be 0 uh, this is the one of the most important identifying thing in the gray relation you will get uh, 0 or 1 as the maximum or minimum values next i am going to estimate the deviation sequences so for that one just i am going to copy the same uh, names of the output parameters and naming it as deviation sequence now for estimating the uh, deviation sequences uh, uh, we have a formula like this uh, so here delta i k so delta i k is going to be estimated from the uh, like uh, one minus that maximum value minus the current value and then this will be common through the entire case and uh, this one is a uh maximum cell which you have taken so that will be common throughout the problem so i have i am doing like this and then i am going to drag it to the bottom surface so that i will get the entire values like this it's again uh, e easy to remember it uh, and the next uh, part in the deviation sequences is i am going to estimate the gray relation coefficient actually the second step is gray relation coefficient in that gray relation coefficient we will have delta i in the formula so that formula delta i calculation we have, we have taken the previous uh, table now it is gray relation coefficient so gray relation coefficient is going to be estimated uh, by using uh, the particular formula here before going to the formula uh, i will just my highlight the maximum and minimum values here so again no need to just uh, say it clearly maximum will be again 1 and minimum value will be 0 because uh, our data should be in between 0 to 1 then our uh, execution for the gray relation analysis is uh, apt and good uh, we can we can justify uh, at this stage only whenever we are getting 0 and 1 we should get only 1 0 and we should get only 1 1 so that our values are correct i am just dragging it uh, so that because all values will be 0 or 1 as a maximum values now i will take only one row so here i am going to estimate the gray relation coefficient by using this particular formula first is the delta minimum that is 0 plus here eta value is there eta value here i am considering it as 0 0.5 most of the researchers they are going to be considering it as a 0 0.5 only uh, in the most of the journals others are doing the same thing and the delta max delta max is uh, the maximum value that is uh, 1 then divided by uh, delta ik that is the current value which i have taken in the deviation sequence the current value plus again delta that is 0 0.5 into the delta max that is 1 so i am going to close the brackets then press enter button now i am double clicking it and i am going to add the dollar 
so i am saying multiple number of times this one dollar symbol is going to fix the corresponding cell okay for the entire computations just dragging it in the column wise first in a row wise then into the column wise up to 27 experiments so that now i am finalized with the relation coefficient similarly the last step that is the third step relation gate is going to estimate by using this formula here uh, the weight consideration most of the authors they are considering it as equal weight for the all outputs so here we are having six output parameters that is one divided by six one divided by n is n is six of the current gray relation coefficient value so i am going to add all this one so here i the uh, the paper the author has been considered it as the weight should be equal to one so the same value i am taking here to get the exact values but we have to consider some weight by using AHP or some other methods and then we have to estimate it. And the last one is the rank estimation. So rank estimation basically we are going to do it. Uh, um, what is the maximum grade which we are having that will be assigned with the rank 1. After estimating the ranks for all experiments uh, for 27, I got the first experiment as the best experiment. Uh, from here, I can able to conclude that uh, uh, first experiment gives maximum MRR and the remaining parameters as a minimization for the first experiment. So I can conclude like this.